ball that's been fallen over the shield. Sort of run Moot there alongside the Mute there. And now it's just the pressure on towards the site itself. But Exodus caught out from underneath. And Leon locks it off with a shotgun. The first blow is theirs. Now still three around these main staircases. WTG up on the balcony looking to get in. But Spoit will find a mission. Looking to go more aggressive. Takes out some of the Excar. The burn starts to come through against the breach that's been able to come together. They're just trying to tuck themselves in with a body disadvantage. And there it gets widened. Kanto has the lock off from the top of red. He's looking all the way through the breach. The kit is cold. Tucked on a corner. 20 seconds. This is a pretty impossible situation here for the two remaining TT9 players. A bit of a smoke coverage here. But with Deepak, the only one that suffered a little bit. And now the only one locked off with more. There's a bit of revenge on the swing round. Nico finds the connection. But it's quickly responded to Rogue. Get their opener. Pretty clean round from Rogue there. Oh, and has some free game here. Might be able to go for a free pickup. It's Kanta that will be flashed and will be swung and just momentarily here gets picked up. Will force Grind to go back up. But instead he realizes about the push coming from down below. Finds a mission. C4 goes out but shut down by Nico before he can even toss it all the way through. Very important push. A bit of a positional call on him. There's it. The aggressive swing round. Stunned out WTG. Just able to get the lock in there. And now it's this five versus two. Spoit repositions himself behind the chassis. Takes the second stun to the face. Can't quite get the lock in onto the flash. So he moves closer so it doesn't quite get the full effect. He's waiting for a swing to come round. But they're not overplaying their hand. The pressure's coming across the board. Scyther has it from the other side. The kit's cold. But with 30 seconds and knowledge of the position of the player, you assume they can get a pretty easy recollection of it. Deepak suffers, gets one. Now it's the sudden two versus one situation. He's Deepak. isolated it. He's found himself in a one versus one. The plant's going down on the far side. He's rotating himself closer. He's looking for the engagement. Does a little bit of damage, a little bit of a scratch on the side there behind the chassis itself. Deepak! The boy from Benelux and the MVP of Berlin hasn't stopped playing yet the side of red that sometimes the area is one best to give up try and find the fight elsewhere and pull out a couple of bodies cancer <laughs> that's a different opinion exodus removed off the board the sophia stun that netted one before Gryan, he slipped his way around onto the back scythe is able to pick up a very quick response but a mission he hasn't been able to find himself in this game at all there's spoit going for the recollection it seems like a peak is coming out of statuary or Top of red, a recipe for disaster cooked up in a kitchen famous for blowing people up in a bedroom. WTG, he's crept his way a little bit closer. Wants the lead in here from the side, but the call of the Grismot is one that probably echoes a lot louder in a four versus two situation. The flashes and the drop towards the white covered statues. They're able to find a shotgun and Leon finds the last. It is three in a row for Rogue. Good clean up there from Rogue in the end. The timing running slowly down. And well, here they're in a almost, I was going to say, four versus two. They just pull themselves back in time. 20 seconds, though, and the pressure of time is starting to tick ever louder. The spray through onto the Gemini. They know he's quite close behind the chassis itself. This C4 could be a bit defining. They're trying to open the width on the breach there. Now it's only 10 seconds. Deepak, when does he lose? Sooner rather than later. Is. There it is. There's the catch. It doesn't quite go through the breach in the hole. They're looking for pressure on the side. Deepak gets it cold. It's a triple kill situation. No he way. gets the next, but... <laughs> CT9 were just there to get that final coverage. It's a sigh of relief, but these are the moments they need to start trying to convert as they should have done a couple of rounds before. But where would the first block fall? That is going to be the major question here. Well, Deepak's got a shotgun. He's ready and waiting for somebody to swing round. The flash is just going to burn out. Nobody. The second doesn't catch Cry, and the third doesn't catch Cry. And there's 15 seconds, though. They've hopped into study. WTG's got one. They're trying to put the kit down itself. Nico's holding them at the door, and Scyther, he's not being unstuck here. He's able to find the plant pretty securely. Oh. A late rotate from Cry and round on the back as Deepak finally wins out his engagement. They're inside. But without a C4, it's Deepak that finds WTG. They've been able to take control of study. Scyther with the swing, but crying with a revenge. Two versus one, a mission. He's just playing on the top of Red Stairs. Just kissed the edge of a Banshee there. They're looking for the engagement. They're trying to find it out. It's downed. It's Deepak with a triple once again. And Rogue get their double down here on the site for their fourth. An idea of a plant. But he needs a lot of other work to come through for the team itself. And at this point, Rogue, all five of them, they've locked themselves in the site. They're happy and willing and waiting for the pressure to come across. They're still looking at some destruction on the top. But 22 seconds and Flores using these to open up the breaches and the ideas and angles here. The creep round all the way on 
underneath. Kryan's gone down towards the cellar. Wants to try and come up behind the back of a mission. It's Nico that gets Deepak. It's Kryan that just misses the tail of the player, but wins it out on the second. Spoit gets the fight inside the site. The kid is cold inside laundry. It's washed, it's pressed, it's primed, and it's a 5-1. A Nitro Cell, but it's in a mission, and he's actually playing on the site, so that's not really much of a threat from below either. The pop of the candela has come through, and WTG pops Lee on the swing round onto study window. Kryan finds Scyther in the meantime. They've been able to pick the diffuser back up. WTG is trying to creep closer, and there's finally a mission. Pops his head up from underneath, gets a kill, and Kryan gets that revenge. They still have the body advantage. Rogue made sure as soon as the kill the shield gives them an angle and a way to stop it. They've got to try and brute force their way through, and they're going to find that a very tricky job. Kryan's the first gone, the quick swing round. Nico's able to get the connection. It's Nico with one more. Spoit's the last. He's looking for the fight inside the gun vault. Will he find it? Oh, no. oh, but it was close. That was just a single bullet away as he went in for the hip fire attempt there. Pressure towards China, the angle that goes all the way through into the site and checking for the cap can, the reveal on the camera. Now they'll know. There's at least a body. There seems to be an idea of a swing round, but it's the lead in from crying that gets the first. They're catching out the cap cans there inside the site via China. There's a swing round and a response. There's two. They're able to somehow swing themselves into it. Scyther on the back end wants to try and find a response and gets the head of Deepak, but it's a two versus one. And now it's a post plant. The C4, oh, C4 shot, shot out. A bit of a breath of wind there and luck as it's carried right into an ongoing firefight. The split one onto pantry stairs. The prep angle, they're not quite as close as he is. Scyther finds his way around and gets a great take, but Leon has it locked. It was a very good bit of movement there from Scyther. Magic if you, point if you... on to a live breather. Pepper the pop and the drop down. He just misses the height, but there it is. Scyther stacks it up on the bottom of red. It was a bit of a bold idea and a push there. Now he's going to see if he can lead it to the next Scyther. His third for the round, a take onto Leon. Sometimes. Someone up on that balcony. He's not paying too much attention to it as of yet, though. He knows someone else is coming up from a different angle as well. It's Deepak about to go for a gunfight on WTG, but he falls. And so does Kanto. It's a mission that will get that final kill. And TT9 will get another round. Big risk. Leon is going to offer himself some extension of support. There's one round into Art Studio. And there it is, Exodus painting his own picture of success. 20 seconds, two rogue players, and TT9 with a full lockdown sight. No pressure has come through directly to it as of this moment in time. They're trying to pinch someone out, but at this point, you can pretty safely feel like this might be another TT9 moment. There's at least one more for the road. Deepak is able to get one, but not even Deepak, I think, can clutch that one out. No, definitely not. That is going to be a TT9 around here. Well done by them. And I think the opening pick onto Spike, crucial there. Find a way through, and they're apparently not doing it with any of the control above. Kanto very well aware of the fact that someone is playing around. Astro there oh. gets his head taken off by Exodus. As WTG will find Leon gets as well. An opening made further to allow a rotation into Memorial a little bit quicker. Spoit now send up top to try and take out those players. Deepak will find Nico. It's a three on three. But I believe the diffuser is still down, still needs to be recovered. So this might just be a kill game instead. As Spoit will be able to yet find another. He's looking in. The site's inside. It's a three versus oh, one situation. They don't have the kit though. They're going for the recollection. Exodus with a huge moment. Spoit's got it in his pocket. He's, oh, he's looking planted. for the plant. It's the one versus one. Deepak, this game is on you. And another round just pushes Rogue over the edge. A bit of a breath of fresh air and a sigh of relief, I think, because TT9 were hot on the heels. And Rogue started to run out a bit of, bit of energy there. I mean,